So how's this for a quick review? I need to needle scale some stuff. Perfect opportunity to try out this needle scaler that I bought and have been looking for a perfect opportunity to use. So let's get to it hopefully inside of 30 seconds. First off, what does a needle scaler do? It's got all these little stabby bits out the front. They go like that and they'll pop off chunks and flakes of rust from truck frames. In this case, the rim off my tractor, things along those lines. Chicago Pneumatic, I'm a huge fan of their stuff. They're not associated with Harbor Freaks. You know, you think Chicago Electric, Chicago Pneumatic. Their tools generally aren't made in China. This one's from Taiwan, which I'm willing to pay a few bucks extra for. They give you an extra set of needles. Uh, this wrench, which probably goes to those hex thingamajiggers on the side. Tool looks absolutely beautiful, gorgeous fit, flawless finish. I, I've owned several things from Chicago Pneumatic. Never once had a problem with one, always been really impressed. That brings us to the next point. Nobody's paying me to make this review. Uh, I'm just a happy customer of theirs. However, if you do decide to buy a needle scaler and you buy that one or anything else on Amazon at all through the link in the video description, channel makes a small commission so I can spend money making reviews like this. So uh, I've never used one of these before. I'm told it's deafening and will vibrate the crap out of your hands. This is gonna be way longer than 30 seconds. So I'm gonna put on some gloves, put on some hearing protection, and uh, we're about to get to this. Thought I was gonna sneeze. Now, like any air tool, it's very important that we oil the crap out of this thing. Beforehand, I like this Lucas oil stuff. You know, generally on the inside of a tool like this, you sort of build up a uh, protective slurry of, of oil, if you will. And obviously a new tool like this won't have that, so I'm gonna try to oil it like every couple minutes when I first use it. Uh, somebody else told me, dump some oil down the front of this thing the first time I use it. And uh, hopefully that does something. Now, say it with me boys and girls, when you over oil something, it just shoots the extra oil out, something like this at least. And when you under oil stuff, it gets destroyed. Therefore, I try to over oil things instead. All right, where's my gloves? All right, first energized pull of the trigger. Oh, that sounds pretty mean. Now I've been warned not to use this on excessively thin material because it will, uh, it'll actually like dimple the material. This, however, it should just pop off this scale. These things are also useful for chipping large amounts of slag. Like if you're running dual shield or something, running six foot long welds, you just go just down, all down your weld and it should clean it up. Uh, yeah, let's, let's try this. Uh, just pretty much pops that scale right off. That's uh, <laughs> that's exactly what I was hoping would happen. So I bought this thing for two purposes. Uh, the main one to pop off large cancerous chunks of rust like you see on the inside of farm equipment rims or what anyone up north sees on like any vehicle there, uh, you know, or just any type of steel that's been outside for quite a while that you're trying to reclaim. And uh, the other purpose, like I said, was to clean large amounts of weld because I can, I can envision how it does this very quickly. So, what do I think of this? It worked flawlessly, right out of the box, like every other Chicago pneumatic. I'm almost dangerously tempted to say Central Pneumatic, which is of course the Harbor Freight House brand. Uh, it just plain and simple worked. I got it out of the box, brrr, entire chunks of rust flying everywhere. Uh, at least one of them flew back into my mouth and I had to spit it out. Uh, it, it, it's, it's clean, we can see down to bare metal now. Now you say, why don't you just use some other tool for that? Well, because there's not really anything else that'll do that. You take a wire wheel over those large cancerous rust chunks and as anybody who's tried this on like a vehicle maintenance application can tell you, it pretty much just polishes the top of them. You say, oh, don't you have an air hammer? Yes, I do have an air hammer, but that's kind of destructive. You know, this steel is, looks like it was eighth inch when it was new. As you can see, there's quite a bit of rusting action here. I would be worried if I took uh, any type of air hammer, be it my weak one or my powerful one, with, a, with like a point on the end of it and tried to pop these things off. I would fear that that would um, either pop through the rim or else dent it or deform it. 
So, needle scaler. It is a very simple tool. It's hydraulically operated, so it'll last pretty much forever. Or yeah, hydraulically operated, pneumatically operated, so it'll last pretty much forever. If you, you don't even really have to try to maintain these things, generally speaking, that much. Just don't blatantly abuse them and give them some oil first thing in the morning, and they'll be fine. Which is why I buy all kinds of, of air tools because they're cheaper. They're normally a lot cheaper than their electrical counterparts. They're simpler, there's no wiring, just normally a few bearings and some machine parts, and that's about it. There's not much to go wrong. And literally all they do is they got this needle and for any possible purpose you can think of, be it popping off cancerous chunks of rust, cleaning welds. Someone told me they're great for scraping concrete off of stuff. Like if, if, you, if you got a concrete mixer and you lend it out and somebody doesn't clean it out all the way and the concrete hardens, you get in here, just like that, you can pop the concrete off. Uh, ergonomics, I would say, they're as good as they can be. This thing is fairly heavy. I think it weighs probably like three, four pounds or so, which doesn't sound like much, but it's fairly compact. It's very dense, and I feel like that works to eat a lot of the vibration. Uh, they give you this nice cushion grip on here, which some people don't like, but I personally really do. It helps, but the reality is, this is a tool that functions on vibration essentially, so there's gonna be some. My advice is wear some thick gloves. And for a job like this, this whole rim start to finish, maybe five minutes, I honestly think less, probably like three and a half or four. Um, but I can see how running one of these all day would kind of suck. But regardless, this is the Chicago Pneumatic CP7125 needle scaler, 4,000 beats per minute, so they say. Uh, American design made in Taiwan and uh, I like it. I'll put this maybe a cheaper version as well if you're on a little bit more of a budget in the video description below. Like I said, thanks for watching.